Hello YouTube, it's Ben here from Team America One coming at you with an updated deck profile. This will be my Consular deck. It's been a while. Uh, I'd like to show you like Verity Bumps, stuff like that. I've been doing a lot of work on this deck. Uh, this will most likely be the deck I will be playing for regionals. However, Bujins are still thing. I've been playing this deck a lot at locals lately. I have been trying to test out um, like a stun, ba stun variants of Bujins and stuff like that. Lockdowns with uh, everything, but I've had to borrow a lot of cards and I'm Honestly, I like concerts a lot better still for the control aspect because Pleiades is so disruptive. Uh, so yeah, um, let's just get right into the profile though. I'll be mentioning like little rarity bumps I've made and whatnot just because that's how I am as a player. But um, on to begin, you run your three Pollux cards broke. Can't be Valor, can't be anything except for skill turns on the board. So really good. Uh, three cows. And three cows is again really good as well. It's sort of level mo level modifier. It will get under um, Abyss Gaios, or no, not Abyss Gaios. Well, I guess Abyss Gaios. I think it is that one of them is where like level five or higher monsters can't activate their effects, stuff like that. We'll get under that because it'll just boom, boom, five, and then. But yeah, so what? You if you were ever in that situation, um, then again, Abyss Giles will just negate. So, um, I don't know, I'm rambling on right now, but this just is really good. It makes your plays, it's the heart of the deck, so this card, so good. Um, triple Algaide, again, Algaide is just so good. It's ridiculous. It can be Valored, which is not good, I guess. It's only downside, and they can chain max C, but, um, like, Algaide is just, it helps get your rank fours, um, it's just a really nice card. Uh, and then, of course, three Sombras. Sombras does not have to be at three, honestly. You can play two of this card, and it'll be fine. I just play three just to keep consistency going and drawing concert monsters, but, um, again, it does not have to be played at three. Um, a lot of people are like, it's mandatory, and I've said that before, but after playing for a long time, playing the deck for a long time, I've realized, yeah, you really don't need it at three. Uh, but one Thunder King, yeah, Rarity Bump, who, I uh, one Bear, again, yeah, I think these are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, some people don't main deck the Thunder King, which, um, is understandable, but they are playing, like, triple duality and stuff, which I don't. But again, I think Thunder King is just an overall really good control card, and that's really what I'm going for in this deck, is just controlling the field, so, um, and the pace of the duel, so, one Thunder King, one Bear, uh, your one Valor, I, I've been going back and forth on this, I don't know if I want to play two, or if I want to keep this at one, um, I would never play three, honestly, in the main deck, I would always, I would side, but, one Valor for right now, I, I don't know, though, it's a really tough choice, I think I might go for two, three, two, or play two for regionals, but honestly, one is working just fine for me. Two maxis, yay, secrets, um, but these are actually not that hard to pick up. Same with the Thunder King and everything else, but, uh, maxi is just really good this format. Uh, special summoning spam, Dragoonities, um, Dragons, uh, even against, like, some of those decks that maybe don't special summon as much. The deck is still really good, so, or, I mean, the card's still really good. Um, it's good to have. It can be sided out against those decks that maybe don't, like Prophecy. So, Maxi, good. And then your one Honest. Honest is broke. So, it's won me so many games. And I actually sometimes try to win Honest by normal summoning if I don't want to have a game. So, I know. I'm a bad person, I guess. But for spells, your Dark Hole, your Pokemon, Ultra, yay, Shiny. But one Rota. I only play with one Pot of Duality. I don't like this card at three, and I never have. Um, this card is, I just don't like it. Like, it will set up your plays. It's great opening first turn. And I guess it's not a bad top deck late. But I just don't like this card. At, I'd be, I'm fine with it at one, maybe two at most. But I would don't think I'd ever play three. The only deck I will ever play three duality in is Dugans. Um, or if I'm playing some really weird control stun deck. But right now, how to duality at two is fine. Or, yeah, like... Or very slow decks like zombies or something, but only one duality because that's all you need. Uh, and then one star chart. I found my copy of star chart, so I'm gonna be playing it again. Uh, the top eight Scott Somers concert deck. He played it, but 
I'm playing that right now, so that's okay. Uh, two tanky, and search it out cards is good. Anything that adds cards to your hand with the Stratos effect is good, I think. Uh, two Lance, really good. And three MST because back row are annoying. And another thing I'd like to say about Lance, I don't use this card defensively at all. Um, I use this card honestly just to um, use off on for the offensive side of things. Instead of like drop honest, I'll drop Lance and that's just as effective. So, uh, but onto the traps. One warning, one torrential, and bottomless. Bottomless is really nice. Um, again, all these cards are really nice. That's why most of them are at one. You're compulse. And then for my choice of one of I run one D prison. I don't really need two, I guess. There's reason why, but one mirror force. This card is gonna go up to two. I just don't know when. Like, I don't know when I'm gonna get my second. I should be tomorrow, I think. I say that every time though, but I really need to get a second mirror force. Mirror force is just too good. Um, tall to haunted, one tall. This is probably gonna be a pinpoint guard as well. And then triple finishing, which is why I've been going back and forth with the Baylor situation. But honestly, three penis chain works just fine for me, so I think that's the way I'm gonna play it. Uh, on to the side deck now. Side deck is eh. But two core destroyer. This card's really good against Herald of Perfection. So yeah. And then two concentrated lights. Black wings. Ugh, so annoying. Um Defy, Macro, and Soul Drain. This is for the water matchup. This is also for um, what's it called? Sh um, shoot. Uh, I guess dragons. I want dragons with this. Well, yeah, dragons, I guess, too. Um, not really prophecy. Water, dragons, uh, bujins, I guess. Uh, anything that's relying on the graveyard. So. Uh, I don't like how these cards were hit to one, though. It's so annoying. Because if they weren't, I'd be playing two. I'd be playing two. I'd be playing two. Um, I'm playing two Chain Disappearance over two Roll and Lock, just because I feel like this card hurts more than Roll and Lock word right now, because getting rid of the Blue Boy is really nice, uh, and the fact is, uh, Roll and Lock, you cannot stop them, they're just gonna do it next turn, so, Chain Disappearance is really nice. Um, again, people are probably gonna be like, play Roll and Lock and Chain Disappearance, I don't personally have the room for that right now, um, I like the side deck the way it is, I play weird cards though, so... You never know. Uh, double Mind Crush, really good against Water, really good against, um, it's actually really good against Black Wings with their triple whirlwind now. Like, you can hit what they add, you can hit the clute before they, like, enter, like, damage step or whatever. Just, like, if you, if they attack in your monster and you know that their monster is less, you know that they have a clute, you're gonna Mind Crush their clute and then they just lost their monster. So, Mind Crush is really good against that. It's good against Water. Uh, it's honestly pretty good against Fire Fist as well, with all the adding with Tanky and whatnot. Like, this card's just generically good. You can side it in in the mirror match if you really want to, but... Um, yeah, it's, like I said. Um, two Gozens. This card can, like, mess up a Sombra's play and a Cerseon play so hard. Uh, you can let them banish, and then when they add that, and before they normal it again, just mind crush it. It screws up that play so hard. Uh, especially if it's a top deck, so... Uh, but double goes in match. This card's obviously still really good, and then double mind drain is still really good as well. Although I'm not a big fan of mind drain, it's screwed me over a lot. So, uh, uh, but now on to the extra deck. So extra deck is pretty linear, in my opinion. But cowboy, dweller, my stroke, star leash. Like, you know, I hope this card comes ultimate rare. I'd be super happy. But Star Leash, Black Ship. Uh, I played the Sigma. I like the Sigma. Uh, the Sigmas, honestly, for the mirror match or for those really annoying cards, like, or just to get open cards. Like taking a BLS is pretty funny. But there's other things you can do, I guess, to a BLS. But the Sigma's just there to have, I guess. Although I'm probably going to be taking this out for something. I'm not sure. But. Uh, double Omega cards are good. Still Lance on Leg, it's pandemic, it's so busted. Uh, one for SCP, this card's a really good beater, so it gets over a lot of things. Um, 
Voltasaurus, again, really good. And then, part of the extra deck, part of the deck, whoops, sorry, good stuff. But it's what makes the deck good, is triple Pleiades. Um, a lot of people only play two. I, three is just too good. Like, you're, there's going to be times where, I know people are like, you're probably not going to make three ever. True, I probably won't. But there is always that time where I'm going game three, and I look into my extra deck, and I'm like, ugh, oh, I've used two Pleiades, where's my third? And I took it out for some other janky card that is really bad right now. So, Pleiades is just so good, and so nice to have. It's good just to have the third there just in case. And sometimes you will go through three. I have gone through three before. Uh, don't tell me that I won't, because I have, and I will do it against you, and you'll be sad. But... This card is, honestly, it's so disruptive, it shouldn't be at 3. This card, if I were to hit it, I'd hit it to 2 or 1 uh, next ban list, which is kind of sad, honestly. The deck still isn't doing much, though, so uh, this card may be safe. I don't know. I really don't want to see this card hit, though, because it's my favorite card right now. Um, they hit this guy, though, M7. I don't understand that at all. That's just stupid. But I do play 1 M7 because... It's good. And then Gaia Charger. Because the Gaia Dragon, the Thunder Charger, whatever. But this card is so good, it's so annoying. Um, this play right here, when you go Vulcasaurus, pop something big, and then go boom. Uh, I've won games with that so many times. Like, this combo right there is so nasty. Um, like, Vulcasaurus is honestly a really nice card. But. Obviously, it's really nice, but anyways, uh, that's it for the deck profile. Uh, tell me guys what you think. I did get everything DT and the extra DT in the main deck. Uh, the only thing I'm looking for right now, honestly, and I'll be willing to like trade slash buy, but mostly trade, uh, I'm looking for a hollow compulse, whether it be secret or super, I don't care, two MS two Ultra MRL Mystic Space Typhoons, Ultra Dark Hole, and then one more Ultra Veiler probably. But other than that, like everything is Gucci for me. I know that I just said that. I'm sorry. But uh yeah, so tell me guys what you think on the deck profile. Comment down below. Um I love your guys' input. It's really nice. It's good to see that like oh people actually watch my videos, which is nice. So uh, if you guys would like to duel me, um find me on DN I don't like DM though. I got in this really long argument, probably an hour long argument, about how I can chain Book of Moon to Constant Omega and Omega will be flipped face down. I was playing Bujin, so. And the guy was like, no, because Omega says unaffected, and then the admin was like, yeah, he's right. It's like, oh my goodness. So bad. But, um, so yeah, so thank you guys for watching. If you guys would like to um, duel or talk or anything, I'll just message us, or message the channel, um, I can give you, like, my Skype name and stuff, and you can do all them as well, so, um, but yeah, so, I've been adding some team members, uh, hopefully I'll be getting their deck profiles and whatnot, and I'm getting, like, a player profile, but, um, adding them to the channel is really nice, so, so that's a pretty nice surprise, I guess, but, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, um, thank you guys for watching, though, um, it's Ben here from Team America 1, uh, Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. This hand is awesome. And I will see you guys next time. Wait. Yeah. So, I'll see you guys next time.